this is what we got going on inside. Uh, these are the seeds. And over here, this was full of plants last month. And we got most of them outside. Uh, over the next couple of weeks, we should have most of this stuff here outside too. That was full of plants, and all this was full of plants, and there was another table somewhere that was full of plants, but I don't know where it went. We got a mini aloe farm. Some of them look kind of weird because they were underneath a fake light. Here we got our thyme. Not much there, really. Cement. A tomato. It's either from England or Italy, I'm not sure which. Uh, grand bell peppers in the box. More tomatoes. More tomatoes. I'm going to go around the house clockwise now. Okay, we just pulled up a bunch of collards, cabbage, onions out of here. So it's not quite full. Yeah, there's our greens. We just harvested a bunch of them, um, Italian parsley, um, climbing tomatoes, I think they might need, I don't know, pruned or something, um, got some beans down here, and peas, uh, more tomatoes, we had a bit of a runoff problem right here, we came off the highway and I stacked a bunch of sod there, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. This is the dark side of the house, so I'm not really not sure if this stuff's going to grow, but we got a row of potatoes and a row of onions. Around here we got more tomatoes and uh, collard slash cabbages. Uh, this here is a work in progress. It's uh, sort of a path, patio sort of thing. Uh, those are the bricks that I got in payment for helping the slum lord. Here we got uh, yellow squash, zucchini, butternut squash, nace nasturtiums, and uh, red sunflowers. All in this little square bed right here. These are our potatoes. I think they're planted a little close together, but uh, oh well. We might get a potato or two out of it. These are broccolis, uh, potatoes, onions, and cauliflowers. The cauliflower we started from seed, but everything else was uh, free from the co-op because they were about to throw it away. Here's our asparagus kind of like a first year thing we're just letting it go to seed we've got a couple different kinds of mulch around the bottoms hopefully they'll drop seeds and next year we'll be able to eat a lot of asparagus and we got a bunch of stuff that's going to seed um, we're not going to save it we're, uh, we just want the leeks out of here uh, we're going to have to dig those up and replant them here pretty quick see the leeks Here's a lot of our greens. Um, we've been eating a lot of salads, and they've been very, very good. Our cabbage is starting to head up. It's not doing too good. We got a couple cantaloupes, some zucchinis. And then some bottom elements. There's Ebenezer. Here we got uh, beans and corn and beans and corn. Uh, watermelons. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not exactly sure. Somebody labeled it with a dry erase marker. And the label is corn. Uh, another watermelon. Got marigolds 
and sunflowers and nastrums also in this bed. More beans and popcorn, beans and popcorn. This here is a test. I want to see if cucumbers can climb trees. So, we'll this is one of our lettuce beds. We got a reseed. The butter crunch isn't really coming up, but the arugula, the onions, the red lettuce and the bib lettuce is all coming up pretty good. And here's this is lettuce and carrots, but the carrots haven't even popped up yet. I'm wondering if maybe we need to do those in a raised bed. There's our strawberries. Picked about uh, 30, 40 blossoms off of them so far because uh, the plants aren't big enough to really produce full volume. There's more strawberries over there, but they're teeny tiny. That's our peach tree. There's a couple little peaches on that sucker already. Uh, our plum tree, which ain't really done nothing, but it just got yanked out of the ground by a neighbor. Uh, more cucumbers and radishes. The icicle radishes there, and I'm not sure what kind those are. Right there is our dill. And we have a sunflower, some tomato plants, and up there is another sunflower. Here we got a mess. Um, tomato, a couple tomato plants, our mint, uh, rosemary, uh, cabbage slash collards, more mint back there, uh, some garlic, and more tomatoes. I've just been throwing stuff there that's not doing good. Uh, and it seems to come back to life. I was told it's bad luck to plant before Easter, and now I kind of understand that maybe it is, because uh, all these sunflowers, well, half the sunflowers that came up are from last year's sunflowers, the seeds that dropped, but we got tomato plants in here, uh, mustard, anise, and uh, more parsley, or I guess that's the first I mentioned parsley, isn't it? It rained a couple days ago, and it really tore some stuff up. Uh, I mean, just made it not look pretty. There's our lime. Daylilies. More tomatoes. Yeah, this is what the rain did. This was a pretty pretty looking bed um, a couple days ago. Then it rained. We got a tomato, tomato, tomato. Uh, what's that flower called? Calendula? Calendula flower. I'm trying to figure out how to get the seeds from that. Um, more nastrums, and oregano. There's chives there. Seriously, there is. Uh, another tomato plant, and there's gonna be basil out through here later in the year. We got uh, green peppers, tomatoes, green peppers and tomatoes. More chives. That's a little cactus. I plucked it up out of Pensacola Bay a month and a half ago. That's about it. I shaved and even combed my hair, which is a major compliment because I don't even do that for my probation officer. And I fear him like brown people fear the U.S. military. I love you, Mom. Take care.